Jason Appy is back for his full forecast. Jason, I know a few minutes ago you brought up the humidity, and I feel like today, at least in southern Maine, was the first time it kind of hit you like a wall walking outside. Yeah, especially if you went out playing golf and whatnot. I mean, the sun was out uh, for a good chunk of Maine. I'll say that not as much rain as I expected yesterday, mm -hmm. which is a good thing. Great uh, thing. <laughs> on the weekend especially, so a little break from the rain. Some spots got it, especially down east. Now, in Standish, you can see there are clouds, yes, uh, but not a lot of rain going on there. Air quality warning up until later on tonight. Dense fog in the forecast. Uh, that's secondary to the air quality situation. Cloudy and cooler next few days with showers and thunderstorms on and off, not nonstop. And it will stay humid for several days, as we just talked about. That's going to continue. So the feel you have now is going to be it. Air quality, this is what basically the computers are looking at. So up north, the highlands, the north woods, the western mountains, that's where it's bad. And the pictures really tell the tale. So air quality warning is up. Now this extends all the way down almost the coastline until 11 o'clock. Take some time. Uh, certainly give yourself some extra time if you're going to be out to get back indoors and right if you're sensitive to the wildfire smoke situation. Now flood advisory is up here as you head down east to Washington County. That's until uh, 845. So that's where it's raining and these are slow moving storms. They're raining themselves out. Not a lot of motion in the atmosphere to push them along. So if you get stuck in one of these downpours, it'll really rain. 70s and 80s widespread. Uh, one of the warmest and most humid days statewide that we've had so far this year with a cold front knocking on the door. This is called a backdoor front. It's going to kind of hook down and go from north to south. It's going to bring less humid air briefly tomorrow before the humidity ramps back up in the hour by hour. You'll see here showers and thunderstorms inland, mostly away from the coast. Some of those here trying to clip the southern coast as we get through 11 o'clock tonight. And then tomorrow and starting the day, a lot of fog. The moisture comes in, so you have dense fog in the morning. Widespread coming for almost basically the entire state. A lot of fog. And then here's the rain middle of the day tomorrow. More downpours, but it's very isolated to scatter. Not everyone's going to see a lot of rain. Look at these numbers here. They're not very big. They're not very high. The humidity. Now that's something that's going to be around after a little dip on Monday. We jump back up in the afternoon Tuesday and we pretty much stay there for several days and the dew points are going to reflect that we're going down a little bit on Monday and then we're jumping right back up. So it's going to be one of those more humid weeks. The most humid week we've had statewide all season long. How about seas at three to four feet? A wind out of the east tomorrow and the east wind is going to bring in the cooler temperatures. Look at 60s for highs on your Monday. Tuesday 65 270 cloudy with scattered thunderstorms Wednesday. I put a peak of sun in there to give us some hope by midweek. It'll take some time uh, periods of rain Thursday. I am putting a little bit of a little sun icon there and getting us to the low 70s. This is still well below where you typically expect this time of the year at the coast. I'm not as optimistic that we see the 70s by later in the week. However, I have a few peaks of sun. The issue is going to be that not everyone gets the rain, but when if you are someone that gets the rain, it is going to pour. As you can tell, you mm -hmm. already mentioned it is very humid outdoors right now, so the atmosphere is just full of moisture and it's just going to dump moisture if you get caught in one of those downpours. So I'd recommend having the umbrella handy this week. You know, Jason, I know the summer solstice was a few days ago, but it looks like we're in the middle of April right now with the weather and the temperatures. Yes. The only way you can't tell is that it's just so humid. That's right. it. Yeah. I don't know if that's a good thing, <laughs> but summer weather is coming soon. Yes. We hope. I hope so. Jason, thank you.